This video is about using exterior and remote interior angles in a triangle. The basic idea um, about a remote interior angle is that it's a remote interior angle is an angle inside of the triangle that's farthest from an exterior angle. So let's talk about an exterior angle first. Exterior angles are angles outside of a triangle and they're created by extending the side. So let's say these are my three vertexes in yellow. And if I wanted to know what the exterior angle is for this vertex, I just have to extend the side right here in green, out here, and you can kind of see we've already done that. I'll probably kind of cover over it with the dashed line. And it would create an angle. I could have done that on by extending either side that runs into that vertex, and I really would get the same angle measure. If I extended this side, I would also have the same angle measure, angle one. Let's just deal with this is uh, one little piece right here, kind of messed that up a little bit. There we go, I fixed that. Okay, so um, this is my exterior angle, angle one, and then from it, the, the two angles inside the triangle that are farthest from it are called the remote interior. Okay, so I'm just kind of label those over here. Remote, like far away, and interior, as in inside. Well, these have a very special relationship. The two smaller angles on the inside add up and measure to the one on the outside. So basically, um, the measure of angle 1 is going to equal the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. I kind of like to think of it this way. The big one on the outside equals the two small. All right, if that makes sense. So that can help us find some of the angles if we're given um, a little bit of information. Let's look down here at the blue triangle. We can see that we're being given one exterior angle and um, one of the two interior angles. So I know that if I'm going to find x, it's 72 equals the sum of 38 and x. And I can just go ahead and write out the equation and solve. And I'll take away. 38 from both sides, and I'm going to get uh, let's see, 34 equals x. And um, so, if you, if you want to, you can just going to rewrite that in here. I know that's 34 degrees. So, if I can test it by just adding these two together, I'm going to get 72. Let's try the triangle in red. Here we have the two remote interior angles, and all you really have to do is add them up to get the exterior angle. So, so x in degrees is going to be 65 plus 55, which is 120. All right, so x equals 120 degrees. Let's take a look at another one. Oh, I guess there's two more. Here we have some algebraic expressions instead of being given angle measures. But I know that these two interior angles add up to 112. See a little dizzy mark there. So I'm going to write it this way. 2x, that's the, one of the two remote interior angles, plus x minus 5, that's the other one, equals the big one on the outside, 112. Let's simplify this. 2x plus x is 3x minus 5 equals 112. So I can go ahead and add 5 to both sides. Solve that. The negative 5 and the positive 5 equals 0. The 3x equals 117. And all I have to do is divide 117 by 3. And let's see, this is, 3 goes into 11 3 times. And that leaves 27. And there's a 9. So x equals 39. Now, there really wasn't a, a problem written here, but the questions usually are find x or find the angle measure. So let's just assume I was supposed to find the angle measures for both. My 2x is now going to become 2 times 39, or 78. So it's 78 degrees. And my x minus 5 is going to become 39 minus 5 or 34 degrees. 
And we can just kind of double check that by adding together my 34 and my 78. Double check it. Because it should add up to 112. So 8 and 4 is 12. Carry the 1. Now you get 112. That's perfect. So this number matches the value of the measure of the exterior angle. All right, we got another triangle down here in green. Um, kind of a similar situation. I have the exterior angle and the two interior angles. So I'm going to write the equation as 4x plus x equals 80. So these are my two interior angles that equal the one on the outside. 5x equals 80. And if I divide both sides by 5, I'm going to get x equals 16. And again, you can assume that you're supposed to find the angle measures. So I would do 4 times 16, which is 64, or just x. So instead of x, I would write 16 degrees. Let's just test that. 16 plus 64 does equal 80. There should be a degree mark there. And thank you for watching the video.